Welcome back to Between Bells. Food Network star Bobby Flay is traveling to Italy, eating and drinking his way through the country. But he's bringing a local and special friend, Chef Giada De Laurentiis, along for the adventure. Here's a glimpse of the new series, Bobby and Giada, in Italy. Take a look. We're spending a month in Rome and Tuscany, getting inspired by the history and the traditions of Italian cuisine. And of course, enjoying La Dolce Vita, the sweet life. So you have like the city and the country. Yes, the juxtaposition is going to be unbelievable. It's actually fun. Wow. Shut up! Joining us now is Chef Bobby Flay. Chef, great to have you with us on the show. We should mention this was filmed in the before times, so you're able to travel and be around people. So jealous of your travels. But on the show, you know, we know Giada grew up in Italy. What does she bring to the show? What do you bring to the show? And what does your dynamic look like on this culinary journey? Well, Giada certainly brings authenticity because she was born, um, she was born in Rome and, you know, and, and some of her family still lives there. So she spends a lot of time there. Um, but I bring uh, a lot of enthusiasm to the show because I am so, uh, I'm obsessed with Italy and I have been for a long time. It really kind of has my heart and my soul. And when you go to a place like that, um, it just, it makes you realize that um, I, I almost feel like um, uh, we in America are, are, are striving too hard to get to too many places. Like, you know, one of the great things about like going to Italy is like you understand that when you have lunch, it's not it's not um, a grab and go, you know, salad from your local like uh, salad shop and you're eating it on the go because, you, you know, you have to go back to work. You know, lunch in Italy is about three hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I kind of like that pace. Yeah, it's a whole experience. Every single meal. I love that. So you tried obviously pastas, pizzas, gelato, everything. Did you have a certain culinary experience that stood out to you on this adventure? Well, I mean, it was really interesting because we spent, um, we actually, there's, there's four episodes, there's four one hour episodes. And um, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do country and city at the same time. So we have two hours in Rome. The first two episodes are, are in Rome. And Jada and I are, you know, sort of more dressed up. I'm, I, I like to wear a suit when I go to a cosmopolitan city like that and go and check out the restaurants and the shops, et cetera do a little shopping and um, do, a, do a lot of eating and some and some cocktailing and drinking as well. We have a great bar scene there. And then when we went to the country, um, Tuscany, um, you know, we basically rolled up our sleeves and put on our aprons. And we did a lot of cooking there. So we had really kind of the best of both worlds. But I think, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's just, um, it's just the, the way of life in Italy in general, no matter where you go is just, uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's such a, it's so satisfying and uh, it makes you stop and think, you know, why can't I add more of this to my life? <laughs> we can definitely learn from that here domestically for sure. And Chef, a lot of us just looking for travel content, for food content to watch, because a lot of us are still stuck at home. You are partnering with Verizon, I understand. So tell us a little bit more about how people can get access to Discovery Plus. Well, uh, Verizon customers are very lucky customers because based on their uh, their packages and and um, they they get uh, Discovery Plus for free, and uh, Discovery Plus is uh, it's it's the sort of parent company of, of the network that I'm on, Food Network and HGTV, it's and, and 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 all these great lifestyle networks, and so now you get an incredible library of past shows that you know you may not be able to find anymore, but also. Um, you know, fantastic originals like Bobby and Jada in Italy. And, and so hopefully, uh, the, so far, the, uh, um, the feedback and uh, the reaction to, to that show has been really great. So I'm really angling for season two in Italy. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, uh, that sounds amazing. And obviously, a lot of people tried cooking for the first time during this pandemic. A lot of people learning from social media, from shows uh, themselves. Have you found that appetite for food content has increased throughout the last year? I'll tell you, I've been busier than ever at home, and, I, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. Like, as soon as the as soon as we knew we were going to be sort of locked down at some point um, when the pandemic hit, and people went into quarantine, you know, I got a lot of calls from uh, people I know and people I don't know who were looking for ways to, you know, to get their family fed and you know ways to um, to utilize everything they could possibly utilize to make the best of, of their time at home and, and, and in terms of getting people fed and, and cooking and eating. 
And I have to say, I think it's made everybody, including myself, a better cook. I mean, we're just, you know, we're cooking, you know, two or three meals a, a day at home, you know, more than ever before. And I keep saying like every day feels like Sunday night, you know, <laughs> um, and that's okay with me for, for the time being. <laughs> yeah, that's actually an apt description. Every night when I cook, it feels <laughs> like we're, I'm just preparing for the week on Sunday night. I do want to ask you about Beat Bobby Flay because I feel like it's one of the most riveting shows, competition food shows ever. I've really only ever seen you win, but maybe that's my luck of which episodes I tune into. Have you ever been truly stumped? where you feel like you just could oh. not compete with the chef on, on Beat Bobby Flay? It happens a lot, actually. <laughs> so, so, so a couple of things I'll say is that you have to watch the show more because I lose plenty. <laughs> um, and I, I, I'm, yes, I'm certainly, I certainly get stumped. I think the, people ask me a question along those lines every once in a while. And the one I always think about is Marcus Samuelson um, came on. Marcus and I have been friends forever. And uh, he's such a great chef, great guy. And, and he... Um, you know, he's from Ethiopia and he, he challenged me to the national dish of Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say, I did have a difficult time. Um, I literally, we, when we started cooking, I basically kind of waited for like three or four minutes just to kind of see what ingredients he was going for. So I could <laughs> almost kind of follow along, but I was, uh, I was, I was soundly beaten uh, that day for sure. But there's, but there's plenty of plenty of, uh, of dishes like that. <laughs> but you know, the great thing about it is, is I don't really care about winning or losing. I love the fact that I, I can cook and, you know, and learn so many different things based on what the chef brings to the table. Definitely. And having eaten Chef Samuelson's food myself, I can attest that is some fierce competition right there. So I'm glad, oh, yeah. uh, glad that you uh, went up against him. Chef Bobby Flay, thank you again for your time. Be sure to check out Bobby and Giada in Italy on Discovery Plus.